Hello, Michelle. How's it going today? Good. How are you, Lindsay? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm excited to be here. So what is happening on the show today? What are we getting into? Well, this is going to be a little juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, juicy. No, no, not not re really some aspects of it. Um, but we're talking about when we say X, not the letter X, E X. Lindsay, yes. have you ever stayed friends with any of maybe your ex bosses after leaving the job? Mm, personally, no. Uh, but I know people who have. I actually know I was just having dinner, uh, not dinner, just drinks at the home of my partner's ex boss, not like oh. CEO of the company, but, um, the boss within the, within the team, within that team uh -huh. that my partner was working on. And so we were over there, this particular boss no longer works at the company and nor does my partner. So all <laughs> good. Now they've just become friends. And so, yes, this does so happen. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. So it definitely happen, gu happens, guys. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, the prefix X. But listen, definitely till the end of this episode, we have a Spotify key poll for today. We've been doing these key polls on Spotify. If you listen on Spotify, you will see them. And we are going to be sharing results on future episodes. So it's a fun way for us inter to interact with you, let your voice be heard. Uh, and we can see what you have to say about a certain question. So just stay tuned to listen to that question towards the end of the episode. And it's going to be a juicy question, as you said, Michelle, isn't it? <laughs> that's right. That's right. So uh, before we get into the episode, we also want to have you guys head on over to a recent episode we did. It was 2176, was tired of awesome. Try this phrase to respond positively in English. So that was yes. a fun one. Yes. So this phrase, this this word X, yeah. <laughs> Michelle, it is used a lot, isn't it? A lot, a lot. A lot. What it, what does it mean though? I mean, it it's used for it basically means former, not anymore, something that was true in the past and it's usually used in relation to a person and your relationship yeah. with that person. Right, Michelle? Right. Some, some, some sort of relationship. So it mm -hmm. could be boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, some sort mm -hmm. of, you know. Um, so with that, we can sometimes say my ex-boyfriend, my ex-girlfriend, my ex-husband, my ex-wife. But mm -hmm. sometimes we just say my ex. And yes. Lindsay, if somebody says my ex, do yes. you automatically what do you think? Do you think that they're talking about their former boss or? <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be strange. Uh, no, it's always a romantic relationship, a girlfriend, boyfriend, or a husband, wife, uh, mm -hmm. a, a spouse. A when spouse, it's an right. ex. There's only one ex, but there is an ex-boss. There's an ex-neighbor, right? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Isn't that funny? If you, if you think about it, that's the only one. Uh, that's where we primarily would say my ex. So yeah. otherwise, you need to have ex something. But if you are talking about a former romantic relationship, you could just say my ex. Yeah, that is really interesting. So our listeners need to know that what it means and when you can just say ex and when you need to add on the actual label of the person, right? Yeah. Yes. Right. Exactly. So as we said, you could also say my ex boss. Right. Or what do you think? Coworker, my ex coworker. Sure. You can say that. My ex coworker. Um, what about employee? My ex employee? It feels a little could, cumbersome, right. natural, but yeah. Right. So what I found was it's interesting because it isn't used with that many things, but it's used frequently. Huh. <laughs> I would say ex boss and ex person you were in a relationship are for for sure used. What do you think? Yeah, my ex boss. I think ex coworker. Sure, Co ex, ex coworker. Ex employee feels weird. I don't know why. I don't yeah. hear that. Yeah. But definitely the most common. I'd say eighty percent of the times you hear this is probably going to be about a relationship. Yeah, a romantic I, relationship. Mm -hmm. I agree, and it's it's not used with even though it just means former. We don't use it with things like friends, job, house, teacher, yeah. right? It's reserved for those specific things. So I wouldn't say, oh, my ex house. <laughs> I, I've always wondered why. I wonder if ex implies some kind of drama. You know what I mean? More than like, for example, you don't say ex friend. Maybe right. you're not friends anymore, but you say old friend, as you said, Michelle, right? We don't say ex-friend because but, usually there's but not there a big could be, 
there could be like, drama. <laughs> there could for sure be drama. There uh, there could be for sure drama. I mean, it depends. Yeah, but even so, I don't think you say ex friend. So I I don't know if it has to deal with drama or it's just chunks in the language. I'm not sure. I don't know because I've always wondered like if you say my old partner ver- like an old girlfriend old boyfriend versus ex-boyfriend mm-hmm. i feel like yeah. that implies ex-boyfriend ex-girlfriend implies that there's something that there's some remaining kind of bitterness or feelings a little bit in my mind versus an old girlfriend from when i was in high school do you know what i mean or am i just making this right up? um i i see what you're saying i do agree that if you say my old boyfriend oh my old boyfriend from high school okay yeah i think x is a little bit more relevant right more substantial more i don't know substantial. that it, i don't know that it's necessarily dramatic but maybe you maybe it, it was just a more substantial relationship that's not so far in the past or yeah or more timely more relevant more recent um, a more prominent relationship, right? Like right, you don't right. really, in terms, unless you married or came close to marrying that person or you're still in touch with them, the person you dated in high school is probably not going to be yeah. as much of an ex, more of an old something, That's old true. boyfriend, old girlfriend, right? <laughs> an old sense. something. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> Lindsay, have you ever run into an ex and it was awkward? Have you ever had any awkward ex encounters? Um... That's a good question. I, <laughs> I think yes, yes. That happened to me once at a museum in Boston or some kind of performance evening with my current partner at the time. So yes. <laughs> <gasps> oh, yes, it that is awkward. awkward. It wasn't right. awkward. No hard feelings, you know. Yeah. It was yeah. okay. What about you, Michelle? Has that ever happened to you? Um, no, I feel like most of, uh, I feel like my exes lived in a different place. Yeah. And like I, like, I ended up being in a different location, so I ha- I didn't really run into sure. Them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when people are transient, right? You know, people in our generation, we move around the country, move around the world, and so that's less likely to happen than if you stay in your hometown your whole life. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. Okay, Michelle, what's next? Okay, so we are going to go further into this because we're talking about how X is very important to know, but it's not used with everything. So let's talk about the other options that we have. We've been yeah. throwing out this word the whole time. So the word is former. Yes. Lindsay, do you hear this a lot? Yeah, this one's good too. This one feels a little more professional, more articulate, less personal, right? We'll put a little mm-hmm. distance uh, this is used for, for example, a former boss, right? Instead of an mm-hmm. ex-boss, a former boss definitely feels more formal to me. Michelle. Yeah, I agree. Um, mm-hmm. You could say, I mean, I don't know, saying my former boyfriend, you could, but I feel like with a romantic partner, it's either ex or how you said old could be. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think former girlfriend, maybe, maybe it's not wrong. You could get away with it. But it does create that distance. And because this was a romantic relationship, it just doesn't feel quite right. I think. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree. Um, and another one is previous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For, previous. for example, and when do we use this more? Is this more for people or for things? Right. So this one is one that we can use more for things, I think, because I wouldn't really say my, uh, unless I'm talking about specifically the one that is, uh, unless I'm really just talking about the order Mm -hmm. of things. And in my previous, right, my previous job, right, Mm -hmm. but that's, that's a thing. So you could say previous owner. I feel like I hear that a lot. Yeah, the previous owner of my car, previous owner of my house, right? Sure. Here you're more focused on really the order in which things happened. You're just saying the closest to that time that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Or my previous job, right? So the job that I had before this one. Mm -hmm. Previous couch, our previous couch at our house was super uncomfortable and we upgraded (laughs) a couple of years ago. Thank goodness. (laughs) (laughs) Right, exactly. So that could be previous. And the last one is old, which Lindsay, you brought up right from the start. So yeah, this one is very common. Let's talk about it. What do you think this one is used for? Yeah, I mean, you know, 
definitely something that you had in the past, an old job, an old computer. I have lots of old cords from every old computer. I saw a meme <laughs> of a guy throwing them all away from 10 years, plastic bag full of cords from like the oh, last 10 gosh. years, just throwing them in the... <laughs> Oh no! Funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have that bag somewhere? Um, or that drawer? I have. Junk I do drawer? have some. Yeah, yes, junk drawer. Um, <laughs> and I don't understand why we save these things. Oh, I think we think we might need them someday, right. Michelle. I'm not sure why we when the save robots them. Take over. <laughs> yeah, we're going to attack them with the cords. <laughs> yes, or then then we'll have all the old technology and they won't know what to do. Right? I know it's ridiculous, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, so old could also just be saying something is old, right? A person is old, a, a thing is old. But yeah. we, you know, and I like Lindsay, I think what you brought up was important, saying my old boyfriend, my old girlfriend, putting some yeah. distance between it. Yeah. And I do think that when you say old girlfriend, old boyfriend, it, 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 it implies like there's not quite as much of an emotional, like it doesn't matter anymore as much. It's irrelevant mm -hmm. emotionally mm -hmm. to you. Whereas mm -hmm. an ex implies it was a more prominent relationship, more recent or more important. I think it's not always that way, but I think that would be I where I would choose old mm -hmm. versus ex. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good, a good guideline to go for. And then you can see that there may be other ways as well. But I do think mm -hmm. that that's a good way for our listeners to have it in their minds. Um, yes. And then, and then last is just the one right before last job, last car, last boss. Right? So that one's similar to previous, right? exactly. Although previous could be in a previous job, right? Mm. In a previous job, that could be any previous job, right? Yeah. Sure. Yep. Yep. Mm. That's a, mm -hmm. that's right. Well, very interesting. So, well, let's go through and put these all together and see right. how it works out. So here we are at classmates working on a project. Here we go. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm late. I just ran into my ex. Awkward. Ugh. Ooh, that's okay. I ran into my ex boss the other day and he had fired me. So that was super uncomfortable. Oh, that sounds rough. Okay. So I brought my new laptop today. My old one broke. Oh no, that happened to my last phone just a few days ago. That's too bad. Yeah, I'm not surprised that happened to my computer. It was used. The previous owner told me that it may not last too long. Oh, used. Yeah. My former roommate always got used tech and it broke immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good stuff. So here we use lots of interesting things. So first I said, sorry, I'm late. I just ran into my ex. Am I saying my ex friend, boss? What am I saying here, Somebody Michelle? you had a romantic relationship mm -hmm. with. That's and, the one that's used yes. on its own. And it's interesting because, yeah, you said awkward. You didn't say I just ran into an old right? Like an old boyfriend, an old girlfriend. You didn't say that. You said, right. I just ran into my ex, which especially that you were saying my ex. Right. So it's, that tells it's showing you. like it's the ex. It's the, the one. Ex. Right. right. You may have dated 10 people in your life, but this is the important ex that matters right now. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. why maybe it was awkward. <clears throat> and then what did you say? What did I say? <laughs> you said, oh, that's OK. I ran into my ex boss the other day and he had fired me. So that was super uncomfortable. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, also good a stuff. little bit of drama. So yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you said you brought your new laptop today. You said my old one broke. Old. Yes. We know that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you said, oh no, that happened to my last phone just a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My last phone. So you're implying that you got a new phone just a few days ago, right? Right. And you wouldn't, Lindsay, could you say that happened to my ex phone? No. <laughs> No, 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 right? No. no, no. Exes are reserved for people because we, as yes. we said, you know, this you would, and you wouldn't say like your ex town. No, mm -mm. it's always people because yeah. people are what, the, where the emotional connection usually is. And ex implies a more like serious emotional connection, as we said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you said the previous owner told me it may not last too long. So previous owner, I think that's a pretty good chunk. You hear a lot. Oh, the previous owner of this, the previous owner of the car, the pre right. If you get something mm -hmm. from somebody else right, or the ho exactly. house. Yeah. Oh, right. 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 Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you said, oh, used mm, my former roommate 
always got used tech and it broke immediately. <laughs> <laughs> right. You could have, all, I could have also said my old roommate. That would have sounded right. Uh, uh, right. If I said last or previous, it's it's more about the timing. And for some reason, I think it's important for you right. to know. But here, I'm just. It could have been the most recent. It could have been one from two years ago or three years mm-hmm. ago. So yeah. interesting there. Yeah, hundred percent. This is there's more nuance here than I realized, Michelle. Yeah. Our listener, yeah. But I think our listeners are ready for it. So, guys, experiment with one of these. Practice using it. Focus on connection. It is okay to make a mistake here. If you do make a mistake, someone might ask you for clarification. Yeah, they might want to know, was that a significant former romantic partner or not significant? But just okay. Be ready for it. That's a way to start conversations, right? Yep. Yep. Yes. Absolutely. So do we have a key Spotify poll for today? I'm excited excited. about this one. (laughs) Yeah, Michelle, why don't you announce the poll? I think all of our listeners are going to want to get in on the vote here. So guys, you better be on Spotify uh, to vote here. Yes. And we will read the results in a future episode. All right. The question is, is it okay to stay friends with an ex? Yes (laughs) or no? So here... As we spoke about when we say with an ex, somebody that you had a significant romantic relationship with. Do you think it's okay to stay friends with them? Yeah. So let us know. Yes or no. (laughs) And there is no in between. As always on these polls, we don't give you a maybe option. We don't give you a middle ground. (laughs) It's yes or no. (laughs) So you have to choose and tell us. And I can't wait to see the results on that, Michelle. Same here. uh, What's the takeaway for today? Where should we leave our listeners? We've gotten into a lot of nuance today. Yeah. Well, it could seem a little confusing. I know we threw a lot at you, but Mm -hmm. the main things to walk away with from today are that X is a little bit more significant. If you use it on its own, it's about a former romantic partner that's that was or at some point significant. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you just say X uh, without anything yes, after yes, it, yes, that's yes. always, you, you wouldn't right. say that about your boss, but exactly. you could use X boss. Um, Love that. But we gave you lots of other ones to work on today. We gave you a role play. And I also want to say that I think this is really useful for, for telling stories, for connecting oh. with people. It helps show who the important people or places are or were in your life to add to that story. That is such a good point, Michelle. And so important to finish up today's episode. The point of what we're doing here at Allers English is connection, not perfection. It's connection. It's storytelling. It's showing people who you are by giving context about your life. And that's what Michelle has told us here. This is what we need. So focus on getting the message across, not being perfect with the perfect choice of words. But today you have a sense of what these words are for. Exactly. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, this was a lot of fun. And uh, let's hope we don't run into any of our exes at the grocery store. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) All right, Michelle, you have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye.